Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see a challenge in the weekly challenge series of UiPath on the channel which is called Tutorials by Mukesh Kala. The whole objective of this challenge series is to challenge you as an RPA developer in your automation skill. The format of the weekly challenge series is absolutely simple. I would share one problem statement to you, some of the guidelines, some of the tips and as an RPA developer, you have to solve that problem and you have to send me back whatever you have done. You would have one week to complete the solution and send it back to me. What's interesting is that at the end of the week, whosoever is able to complete the solution with complete accuracy, best practices, everything and in a faster way would be the winner for this week and he would be receiving a goodie or a gift from my end. Some of you who are not able to understand the challenge and you want to learn more for them I would upload the step by step solution of the problem statement which we have given at the starting of the week. So in case you are not able to complete you can come back to the channel after one week where I would be posting the complete solution of the challenge whichever I have got right. So that's the whole idea of having the weekly challenge series and I hope you guys would enjoy doing the challenges. So in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next challenge and win an award or a goodie with that let's jump to this week challenge okay so the challenge number is tbmk0007 the name of the challenge is extract and organize disease alerts by state the level of the challenge is intermediate and the concept which you guys are going to learn is the UI automation. Okay. If I talk about the problem statement, we have to create a UI path automation which will extract all the list of states from a given map. So that is the first task. I'll show you the map where exactly it is located. You have to get all the list of the states and then for each of those states you have to get what is the active pet disease in that particular state and you have to write the data back to an excel sheet okay so that is what it is the automation task now let me show you where exactly is this map and how do you download the data okay so you have to go to this website which is pet disease alerts.org okay I'll provide this direct link in the description so that you can directly copy paste. Once you go to this page, you would see a map like this. This map is having all the states of the United States, right? So if I hover my mouse, you can see it's Washington, it's Oregon, it's California, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming and all these states, right? Now, if I click on any one of those, let's say I click on Montana. It is showing me that the active positive cases has been reported in Montana this month, right? It might be different for a different state, right? So if I go back and if I click on some other state, let's say Alabama, it says that the active positive cases has been reported in Alabama in this month, right? So this is the alert actually, which we have to get for all the states which are coming in the map, right? And if I talk about the final output, the final output looks something like this, right? Where say for Alabama, this is the thing, right? For Nebraska, Montana, New York, Ohio, this is our final output where I can see that there are close to 51 states, right? Which I have got after the extraction. And this is the detail after you click on that thing and you just have to extract this information, right? For each and every state which you see on the first URL, right? So I hope the problem statement is clear. You just, I'll just quickly repeat. You just have to go to this website, this one, get all this information of all the states and for each and every states, click on it, get this information and print both of them into the Excel sheet. Okay. So that was the problem statement in terms of the evaluation criteria, your automation should be correctly extracting the information for the pet diseases. Efficiency is the op is the automation optimized for performance and resources you should have error and exception handling uh, the output would be an excel file which you can directly put it in the share with the project folder and make sure that you are following the uipath best practices right 
submission guidelines are absolutely simple you just have to upload your solution i have posted the code upload link also there and ensure that your code is well structured and readable okay let's talk about the important dates the challenge is starting today which is 9th of november so this is a change right so we have included weekend now so you have uh, four days till 13th of november you can submit the solution the submission deadline is 13th of november 12 pm ist okay okay so that is all for this week challenge a quick request guys in case you are liking these challenges and you are finding this interesting please do like this video share your feedback share it to your network that will help me to amplify my youtube to a bigger audience right if you have any more feedback you can write it to me via an email or you can also drop a comment as well good luck with the challenge and see you in the next video okay so that is all for this video i would like to wrap this video here i hope this was insightful if you have any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well i would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see so with that i would wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and Happy automation.